Hey kids, it's Dad. Happy Monday today. Wow, what a whirlwind weekend. Total whirlwind weekend. End of week one of uh, college and elementary school for uh, Emma, Drew, Tommy, and Clara. So a lot of good things going on there. Emma and... Uh, Emma and Drew had a sleepover Friday night, so Becky and I were able to have a hot date. That's always fun to be able to go out with your sweetheart and to go to dinner and a movie. We saw Black Panther, okay? Saturday was kind of a somber day. I need to tell you about my friend, Chris. <clears throat> Chris, if you've been following me along, I talked with Chris. I worked with her at Seaway. And Chris was the pre-press brains of that operation. She was the tribal knowledge. She knew uh, all the impositions. She knew the presses. She knew the binding equipment. She was such a powerhouse. Chris was probably 5'0", 5'1", maybe. Tiniest, tiniest little lady. But we got on so well, and the respect that we garnished for each other was pretty remarkable. Uh, Chris, uh, you know, we worked side by side for a good, uh, a good year. And while I was uh, uh, working with her, uh, she had carpal tunnel surgery. And it just wasn't getting better. It just wasn't getting better. And she went uh, to specialists and did her research. And, you know, it come to find out that she was diagnosed with ALS. Chris was like a fixture at Seaway. Uh, she had, she had, was a legacy employee. She knew everything. She knew all the equipment. She knew all the people. She knew the ins and outs, the shortcuts. Uh, while I worked at, at Seaway, I got to be good friends with her daughter, Danielle. Danielle worked in customer service. Uh, I did some mailing work with her, and Chris was in pre-press with me. <clears throat> uh, leaving Seaway was very difficult. Uh, it was difficult because I was leaving Chris, and I really, really respected her. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I loved Chris because she was so strong. She was able to stand up to, uh, uh, to people who might have pushed her around. Uh, she was able to say, no, this isn't right. I'll be right back. I'll take care of it. She knew what to do. And, uh, you know, after she was diagnosed with ALS, uh, that kind of really, really broke my heart. And uh, I wasn't at Seaway to watch the, watch the, de the decline, but I, I knew that Danielle quit her job at Seaway to be able to take care of her mom. What a superhero. Uh, there's nothing greater than to be able to serve your parents in that type of way. So, Danielle, you're a superhero to me. Chris, I got an opportunity to see her uh, in February or March, and it was fantastic. We took a picture together. We laughed. We joked. Uh, she is... There's something about her that's just amazing. And there's something, her strength stands out. So kids, we need to be more like Chris. We need to be strong. And we need to uh, tackle things head on. She tackled things head on. Uh, Chris isn't here with us anymore. That makes me sad. Uh, I know she's in a better place. That makes me happy. Uh, I'm sorry to... Uh, Danielle, Maddie, uh, her husband, for their loss. I really am. Uh, I am such a better person because Chris is in my life. Chris will never be taken from my life. Uh, her memory, her strength is always there. That doesn't make up for anything you're going through. I get it. But kids, we need to be more like Chris. We need to be strong. We need to stand up for what we believe, and we need to make a difference. Chris made a difference. Chris loved animals. She worked at the zoo. 
Uh, she was a, a great community type of person. Chris was great. Chris will be missed, but Chris lives on uh, till we meet again. I love you, Madeline. I love you, Claire. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Emma. And I love you, Drew. I am thankful for you, and I'm thankful for great examples like Chris. Be more like Chris.